Oh, that is super pain, man. 2K since... And the funny thing, again, remember, I, I barely have injuries turned on. So the players like Greg Oden and T-Mac getting hurt, it was just... That was just in the cards for them, man. Um, the Nets are going to take that dub. Uh, the Raptors played them as well. So we're going to go to the Raptor. Oh, the Raptors played the Mavericks as well. Oh, that's the Spurs. Um, my analog drifts quite a bit sometimes. Okay, never mind. No, they don't. I was wrong. Uh, the Magic play... Yeah, they do play the Raptors. Okay. Just not that day. Um, the Raptors doing weird. Okay. Damn. Damn near identical records here. So did the Magic fall to 8th or is the East just trash? Because the Raptors had a... Had, they were like AC, but now they're tied with Orlando. I mean, we still got some good teams around. But again, it's like the whole league is just watching like five good teams, basically. The Raptors take that L... The Magic's last game would be against the Chicago Bulls. And then we will check our standings and all that so people can make informed votes. Because the worst thing in, in the world... The Magic ain't even going to win 50 games. Worst thing in the world is an in, uninformed voter. So... See what happens. We might get a jump. Kobe versus Arenas. Yes, I think so. Kobe versus No Chill. I don't think we've really seen this before. We already tried Pacers mix. That already happened. So we are. Is Arenas on the floor? Because if not, I'm I'm out. All right, cool. He's there. All right, he's there. Cool. Um, I don't see Iggy, but okay. There's Iggy. Okay, so just a couple of weird looking guys. I think it's Pat Garrity that's missing. Yeah. Hey, shout out to uh, is that Bernie? Kind of cool. For the sub, much appreciated. And both free throws good for Said why isn't posing number wearing number forty one? I don't know. Like he just didn't get forty one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like players get drafted and they trade places and they just change jersey number. I don't. I don't go through all nine hundred players and make sure they're wearing their life jerseys. Like it's a different league. Some players are wearing the jersey numbers that they wore in real life. Some people aren't. Like. Oh yeah, no, nah, it's two, nah, it's three minutes to go. Low five IQ yet. Yeah. Rodney Stuckey comes up with it. David Lee, a rebounding god in this sim. He is the perfect power forward to put next to Shaq. No, I'm saying because people ask a million questions about this sim all the time. Like, fam, like it, some some things are different, some things aren't. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be like the smallest detail too, like James Posey number. Who cares about James Posey's number? I don't care. <laughs> it's James Posey. I have no clue. Like he just doesn't have it. That's like there's like hundreds of players in this league. I'm not checking everybody's jersey. That was like Manu Ginobili. Like why is Manu Ginobili not wearing 20? Because he got drafted to the Nuggets and he chose a different number. Like that's all there is to it. <laughs> hey, appreciate you, Ignacio. Oh man, that is all there is to it. Iggy's got clamps. There's a spin. Kobe goes through the clamps. Got in the game. And they didn't call the foul. That's only his 21st point. And this is why I didn't cue the low five because the Bulls are only up three. Iggy. No block. Shaq calling for it. Stucky doesn't have the same court vision as Wade did. Shout out to Rose for the sub. Shaq cutting through again. Nobody's looking for a fat Shaq at this age. That's a bucket. Oh, big foul. Good foul, too. That was the only option there. It would have been a one-point game. Said Shaq is going to retire this summer. And if he retire, uh, nah. I think he's going to wait until he's averaging under double digits. I think Shaq is probably going to wait until he's averaging under double digits to retire. That's what a lot of players, which you see with a lot of guys, like they stay until it's like seven points. He's still averaging like double digit rebounds. Two good screen. Hey, yo, I think Gilbert got like 60 tonight. From the way the commentator just sounded, that sounds like Arenas has like more than 40. I don't know. Shaq, post. David Lee was in the mid. David's not going to shoot threes. No Lee threes. And Iggy absolutely does have clamps. He's got 40, 40, what, 45. 
But it's a magic ball still. Told y'all Iggy had clams. Somebody said Iggy don't got clams. Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. I thought that was out on the magic. Get that a Shaq. Ah, oh, shot clock violation. Damn, if only 2K could throw an inbound alley. Alright, so the Bulls have a chance here to extend the lead. <laughs> Arena step back. There's a double team. Wow, bro. This Magic team defensively is crazy. They might not win 50 games, but all season they've been playing crazy defense. They've been getting clutch steals. Shaq and Kobe been connecting. There's a couple of screens. Stucky inside. It's down to one. This is a certified hood classic. This actually might be the first time I pressed hood classic today. And more magic clamps. Kobe. Oh. Almost had a reverse alley. Shaq with the block. But they come up with it and find Iggy. And so it's up by three. The Bulls are up by three. 22 seconds. So we're going to be looking for a Kobe three here. Yeah, I think, yeah, the Magic. This Magic team is going to be. I hope the Magic and the Pacers play in the playoffs. I hope Magic and Pacers play. They played last year with just Shaq, but now you got Kobe. It's a different game. And they don't have Hidu. And he's got 52, I told y'all. <laughs> that that one wasn't a domer. I heard the commentators say another. They, they, uh, they hit a note. Buddy hit a note and he was like, another one. I was like, yeah, I could tell. So Gilbert Arena is trying to give y'all a taste of some MVP ball before y'all vote. And how was that a foul? I thought Iggy just, I thought Iggy just caught that one, bro. Stucky sold a free throw at the end of last game. And he is selling free throws when you can't afford to. Damn, I don't know where anything is. I'm going to sell There we go. <laughs> And so Stucky is getting that he's he's getting that uh reputation of somebody you don't want shooting free throws at the end of a game because this one is probably over now regardless. This one's probably over. Arenas has missed before though. Told y'all. <laughs> Scout 2K. <laughs> Lo fi music stops. Lo fi music stops. Orlando down three. Jason Kidd still on Chicago's bench. He averaged all the four points last season. Jason Kidd about to retire as well. Jason Kidd and Shaq in the same class. Get ret re Shit, is Shaq even Hall of Fame in this one? I don't know. It's 12 seconds and Shaq has the ball in the corner for a three. Kobe. Doesn't want to pull on Iggy like that. They're going to go to Carlos Delfino instead. He won't hit. Shaq's going to get the rebound and kick it out with three seconds. Rodney Stucky has two people on him, so there's no way that's going to happen. And good, because anytime they go backcourt like that, we only cut that off because of the glitch. So I'm always glad when they miss after that because it was supposed to be a... <sighs> it was supposed to be just for glitches. Sometimes it can change the outcome of a game. Ooh, pulled let Oh, nobody give a fuck. All right, 53 for Gil at the end of the season. Do I have the screenshots for league history? Uh, if you mean like the actual league history, no. Rodney Stuckey, by the way, had 26, 5, and 3, and 4. So there's that. David Lee, 20 and 14. He's not clutch, but he's good. He's, he's good backcourt help for Kobe. He's not clutch, but he's good backcourt help for Kobe. <laughs> All right, um, Sim here. The last last game of the season. Yeah, we'll look at Gilbert Arenas one more time because y'all do have a vote coming up. So last game of the season, and then we'll look at the standings and all that. Maybe this will be a game. Maybe it won't, but 2K says it will not. All right, 140. How many 51 teams were there in the league this year? Let's look so we know how to vote. First of all, just looking at the award races Darren Williams is averaging more points and more assists than LeBron James averaging less steals and probably less efficient as well LeBron is 50 44 56 my bad 44 percent and 71 from the free throw Darren Williams is 50 from the field 42 percent and 83 percent they are probably the two best 
<clears throat> teams in the league. Gilbert Arenas averaging. <laughs> Yo, we're getting used to Gilbert being great. We're getting bored of his greatness. He's putting up 38 basically like every season. Like we're we're dead ass getting bored of his career. His career average right now is 34 points. Oh man, Chris Paul, 27 and 13 by the way, 50, 40, 42, 80, and Tim Duncan still in MVP races. That's amazing. Uh, Rookie of the year is probably gonna go to Blake. I just feel that. Um, damn, Dixon Ormus sold the six man of the year again. Probably defensive player of the year will probably go to. LeBron James let's go look at some we'll look at the standings in a minute but I do want to also see the league leaders because it is important to put in context it is important to put in context of where they actually are like Gilbert Arenas leading the league in score Gilbert Arenas is basically James Harden before James Harden here I see <laughs> um Russ is there he'll be bringing home MVPs just as soon as the Rockets are competitive we haven't seen like one Michael Red game Darren Williams is top five in scoring <clears throat> Darren Williams is top five in scoring with 29 and 10 so there's that for consideration. Dwayne Wade is here as well. Uh, KD, LeBron James is top 10 in scoring. He's also averaging nine rebounds. Um, plays elite defense. We watch him play elite defense every single year. Um, that's interesting. Points allowed per game. Huh. If you organize it by points allowed per game, just so y'all can get a look at that. Um, yeah. Kobe, this is 2010 Kobe anyways. Kobe really wasn't winning MVP by 2010. What, what is Kobe looking like though? Where is, Co where is Kobe in the points per game average? Because by 2010, he was still scoring a lot, but he wasn't about to win an MVP or nothing. But where is he though? That's a good question. So Kobe's averaging 24 this year. Kobe's averaging 24 points and four assists. And I low key feel like if we go and look at the standings, I kind of feel like Kobe would be on the MVP ballot above Tim Duncan, but I mean, it's not really going to matter as much. Um, oh, never mind. They're right there. Kobe and Tim Duncan are literally right there. Oh, fuck you, 2K. Fuck off. Fuck right off, 2K. So in the first season, in the first round of the playoffs, it looks like it's going to be the Nets and Pacers. And then Raptors and Magic, the best teams in the conference, are playing each other in the first round. Fuck right off, bro. Do you know how hard it was to make that happen? I am deceased. Gilbert Arenas is just chilling here about to play the Bobcats. And the literal best teams are playing each other in the first round. So the, first, the best teams are going to take each other out right away. So there is no, oh, maybe doing way to Kobe. No, they have to play each other right away. And then same thing, well, the Nets weren't going anywhere anyway, so nobody cares about that, but still, there's not even any chance, so the fucking Sixers are gonna, who are the Sixers playing? <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, it looks like they're gonna play the Hawks, NBA T ESPN 2 series. Uh, who's the worst team here, Washington? That is incredible, my guys, that is incredible. Um, Memphis is going to tie with Dallas this year. By the way, Darren Williams had probably a I don't know. What you, I don't know. Y'all would have to y'all would have to um debate amongst this yourselves who has the best team here because Darren Williams has a 64 win team, but this roster is this roster better than what the Grizzlies have? Uh, I don't I don't think so. I don't know. You got D Will, Leandro Barbosa, JR Smith, Carlos Boozer, the second rounder. But then you get to like Deion Kelly, Porn Stars, like they don't really have a whole lot after that. But then you look at Memphis, you go Andre Miller, T Mac is out, so now Jason Richardson fills in. <laughs> I said D Will, and he ain't even the best player on, <laughs> ain't even the best point guard on his own team. <laughs> Disrespectful. You got Prime Peak here, Skip Bayless, Josh Howard, Andrea Bargnani, Mark Matt Barnes. T Mac, they're going to have to play a lot of the playoffs without him. Uh, if they even get him back. By the way, the the West. Oh, the Hornets made it. The Hornets made it. They couldn't tank their way out of this one. And Westbrook might make it too. Westbrook, it's coming down to the last game of the season for Westbrook to make his first playoff series. Yeah, the Hornets couldn't outtake the West. 
But yeah, they got a pick though from the Blazers, and the Blazers are down here at 27 to 54. Denver is all the way down here. But in terms of roster construction, good roster. AI and KG, good roster, good roster, good roster. Records look funny, but playoffs about to be bomb. I am never going to. So y'all calling it the Weak West now? <laughs> They're saying it's the Weak West. That's the narrative, is that it's the Weak West. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what y'all think. Um, I'm going to go now and sim this. And they picked No Chill Gil, who came in seventh in the East. All right, so <laughs> this is the second time 2K picked him. Gilbert Aridas, the MVP. Now, we always let the chat vote. So I am going to manage a poll. And for MVP, y'all can pick. Damn, he wasn't even... Up to the last day in the season, he was not first in voting. The The voting order was something like LeBron. Then they had Darren Williams. So I'm going to try to put it in the order they had. The order they had. They had Darren Williams. They had... um. Was that where Arenas was? Who else was there? Fuck, I don't forgot now. CP, yeah, Chris Paul was there. It don't even matter. The order don't actually matter. I'm just trying to remember. Um, arenas and then Tim Duncan again. <gasps> Yo, there's like a there's like a Tim Duncan has like a cult following in the chat of like 17 people who vote for him every year. 17 people in the media. Alright, so the poll is up. Or it's about to be up. LeBron, D Will, CP, Arenas, and Tim Duncan. Y'all have a minute. And while y'all debate narratives amongst yourselves while you vote, I am going to eat. I think we got a lot of good information to figure out who's the MVP of the league this time, so. Remember, if it's a plurality, then we pretty much have to vote again, so. Mm. I gotta eat this and level up for the playoffs now. <laughs> mm. This is always one of the most entertaining parts. If you're new here. Mm. Let me change the hue, too. If you are, uh, if you're new here, it's always one of the best parts is when everybody has a debate who the MVP is, because then it creates narratives for the playoffs. And it's almost done. And it is done. Oh, another major split. Oh, man. Another runoff election is upon us. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Darren Williams by seven. Damn, so. <laughs> Gilbert Arenas didn't even get considered. CP3 only had 25 voters. <laughs> Weren't the Grizzlies and Mavericks tied? Weren't the Grizzlies and Mavericks tied? CP3 only had two 25 voters. What happened to y'all? Them niggas changed up. 31 Duncan voters. And so here we go. Arenas is not a part of this. 38% to 39. Wow. 390 votes for D-Wheel, 383. Okay, so, got to do a runoff. It's got to be a runoff. That is the only way, so. Last poll here to decide who the MVP is. Arenas will have it taken from him again. Although, I don't think he's going to be going on a championship run. But he could, because all the other competitions are going to take each other out. So, y'all can now choose between D-Wheel. And I have no clue how this one is going to go. Because last year, there were more CP3 and... and, and uh. There was more CP3 voters last year, or D Will voters and CP3 voters. I don't know where Arenas voters are gonna go. I just typed in Arenas, my dumb ass. All right, MVP, D Will, LeBron. You can vote now. This is interesting because last year again, it was just like it wasn't seven votes. That's crazy, seven fucking votes. I don't know how y'all managed to do that, but CP3 and D Will voters basically just clamped together and said no LeBron because they both had experiences with him in the playoffs. Arenas voters, I don't know where they're going. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even have a clue where Arenas voters are going. Well, 
These playoffs are about to get crunk. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. What sound effects do I have to describe this moment? Mm. <laughs> this MVP race. This is a certified <laughs> hood classic. This MVP race is a hood classic all in itself. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we're done. Okay. Woo! A narrow majority. My God. Wow. Let me finish chewing. Shout out to J Rock for gifting a sub. I appreciate you, man. Mm, mm, mm. Darren Williams loses by around 30 votes. Actually, that looks like 27. Damn, bro. And LeBron got a majority. And so he is the MVP. Two in three years. Rolf said D Will got robbed. Oh damn. D Will taking L's every year. There will be no recount. LeBron has reached the majority. 51% is a majority. So LeBron James will be this year's MVP. <laughs> oh, these playoffs about to be crazy. LeBron better hope for his MVP sake. That he wins this time should they meet in the finals. Alright. That's what y'all decided. The chat voted. Democratically. <laughs> LeBron and Williams have played each other twice in the finals now. LeBron was MVP once. CP3 was the MVP the other year. D-Will was on the cover this year. D-Will the cover athlete lost by 27 votes. <laughs> Too bad we don't have an electoral college. Um, Blake won rookie of the year. That's cool. Hmm. What a vote. Dixonormous. W for Dixonormous. He finally took home his six man of the year award. Yeah. He didn't sell it this year. <laughs> Turns out six is enough. And then LeBron, of course, defensive player of the year. That happens every single year. Uh, most improved player, Raymond Felton. <laughs> And then Brad Miller is the coach of the year. Cool. All right. Well. LeBron almost averaged a triple-double, fam. LeBron almost averaged a triple-double. Just in case you can't see because of the... Because uh, of the chat. Braun here averaged... I'll just say it. 28 points, 9 rebounds, and 9 assists. Three steals a game, 56%. I mean, those are MVP numbers, but when it came down to it and people had to vote, he was the only one who could pull a majority. And so D-Will voters are just going to... That says PJ Carlissimo. I thought that was Rick. I've been calling this man. Shout out to J-Rock for uh, another gift or sub. Much appreciated for y'all basically getting us to the goal today. I've been calling this man Brad Miller all, all sim, and that's PJ Carlissimo. Hey, you can't really say that Braun has super team this year as much because T-Mac's not really playing, so... I said Republicans versus D D D. Uh, I didn't see the reference to Democrats there. All right, D Will was not on the first team, so there's that. Al Jefferson, Hoopin. This is what the Wolves thought they were getting. Um, Chris Paul, Westbrook, Mello. Wow, D Will didn't even make a third team. Hey, and shout out to Redding getting us to the goal today. I appreciate all of you sub bingers and people who just subbed in general. Dwight Howard not taking over just yet. <laughs> man, Darren Williams cannot catch. Even after, even when he wins, he loses, man. Even when Darren Williams wins, he loses. He went hard this year and got 64 wins and didn't get the MVP. And 2K didn't pick him either. 2K didn't pick him. 2K didn't pick him, and the chat didn't pick him. Yeah, he is simply disrespected. He is disrespected. Uh, here go all your defensive teams or whatnot. Steph Curry this year averaged 23 and 8. He did really well. Shout out to Corey. Uh, his free throw percentage 
Uh, for the sub, much appreciated. His free throw percentage, we just bumped it to 80, and it it, it did well for his rookie year. 46 and 41 from three. Um, so good rookie year for Curry. Brandon Jennings averaged 23, but it doesn't look like the Clippers are going to be going to the finals. Um, behind Brandon Jennings, thank God. Monster Cookie, I appreciate you with the gift. James Harden averaged 24 and 6. Looks like James Harden is about to get a good uh good good teammate next to him, so that's that's nice. Uh Tariq Evans. Jeff T. Caspi. After this, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Your playoff. Let's see the records, first of all. Like the actual finishing records. Did anything change in the East? Nothing changed in the East. My my heart drops for this. It really does. I'm so pissed off about that. It looks like nothing really changed in the West either. Um all right, so Darren Williams has got a major chip on his shoulder. Oh, Westbrook made it. Westbrook, Westbrook in the West makes it. Makes his first playoffs. Him and Paul Gasol. Shout out to ACDC for the subscription. Utah and Phoenix, Minnesota. Oh, KG, yo. I think, I think the Wolves are about to go back to their first round out days. Hornets got six seed and Dallas and Seattle. And I'm so mad about the East. Look at this, man. Gilbert Arenas, we need you. Hey, yo, what was the name of that cartoon show back in the day where it was like a it, it was a it was a it was an environment show. Who's the superhero that they all put their rings together and he and that green nigga shows up? He got like the green hair and he's wearing some like suit. What's the name of that? Captain Planet. Yeah, we all we all got it right now. We all got to get our rings together and get Gilbert Arenas to the conference finals right now. We got to make him appear because otherwise we're getting the Bobcats, the Hawks at Philly. And neither one of the, none of those teams are teams that need to be in the conference final. All the teams that could be in the finals are playing on one side of the bracket. This is so fucked, bro. This is so fucked. All the East final teams are playing on one side of the bracket. And so, yeah, we gotta. And so, Gilbert Arenas, we gotta. <laughs> Gilbert Arenas is chilling over here, bro. Gilbert Arenas is chilling. He's gonna watch everyone take each other out. Oh, man. This is how he wins. Jace says, I appreciate you. Say what's wrong with the Bobcats in the finals? Nah, <laughs> in the finals. Nah, let's go ahead and start sipping this shit, bro. Captain Planet, aka Gilbert Arenas, and he's in the seven seed too, so it makes sense. They're gonna say Arenas had a cakewalk to the finals. <laughs> the narratives, Hawks, Sixers. No, hell no. I would not disrespect me or my chat with that. Magic Raptors, however, I will watch. Uh, where are we? Okay, yeah, definitely. Um, Lego. The Knicks are the lottery team again. What's new? You should have expected that. Uh, the Magic are gonna take a massive. L yeah, see, look at this, man. They all ended up on this. I'm so mad right now. Maxis with the uh, subscription, much appreciated. I am so hurt right now. All of the East Cash Cows ended up on one side of the bracket. This is the, this is 1999 evolved. Hornets Wolves. That would be nice. Maddie, we must have a hype train going on down there. Appreciate you, us, Ooh, the first round curse. Minnesota has a young team that loves to tank. Are they going to be able to put them away? It looks like they will. Yeah, they're done. All right, so good win for the. Uh, so this is nineteen ninety nine sequel. <laughs> yeah, we've we've never had this happen. Like two K keeps finding creative ways to fuck things up. This is amazing. Uh, Bulls, Bobcats. I mean, the Bobcats are still watchable. They're just not a finals team. Said the Hawks disrespect. Yo, the Hawks were good for years, and now the after they mess up the roster, mess, messed up that trade last year. Now they want to. Now they want to make the playoffs. That's crazy. Nets player, Nets Pacers. Oh man, every finals team is on one side of the bracket. Lopsided bracket is what you call this. <laughs> not perfectly balanced as all things should be. Okay, uh, game one is often pretty weird. Sonic, I, I could, I could deal with Sonics and Mavericks. Oh, uh, but you know what? This is in Dallas too, so I actually wanted to see the Sonics court. All right, so a lot of the teams that should be winning are winning. Rockets, Grizz would definitely love to watch Russ because we have not seen Russ on screen yet. Oh, and the MVP. Shout out to Jason for subbing. Appreciate you, my man. Seattle never moved, not yet, but. They're testing me. They are testing my gangster. Let's jump. Ready your dive emotes. This is playoff Westbrook. Pau Gasol playing in Memphis. Ooh, he's got Mellow Garden him instead of Peak. They need to put Prime Peak on him. Said why no OKC? Because everyone loves Seattle's branding. 
Everyone loves Seattle's branding and nobody likes OKC's branding. That could have been a block. Spencer Hall is through an Elmo pass. Melo. Kind of through an RDC pass, but not really because you would always love to have LeBron James under the rim for that reason. Memphis. Takes a one point lead. Do we have Russ rules in this? By the way, if you were in the 2010 sim, you know Spencer Halls was pretty much a Dwight Howard stopper, so. I can't pronounce his name. I might have to wait for the. We're just going to call him Mega M. Mega Mind. Great transition defense by Peak. That is Peak defense. Peak transition defense. Peak 2K. Is that R that looked like RJ Barrett? High key. Anthony against us all. Yeah, I'm gonna just call him Mega Mind. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that guy's name. That can be pronounced like three different ways. Dunleavy. That is a two-pointer. Oh wait, was it? Yeah, something like that. Up, yep. Carcelo. Gasol guarding him. He's got him out on the perimeter, which you prefer. Good pass. Good cut by Miller. And Westbrook using the athleticism, but Miller using the smarts. The veteran savviness. Shout out to Quick for the sub. A pass to Dunleavy. Westbrook likes this this roster makeup. This first first round, man. Westbrook likes this this roster makeup because you just drive and kick. Although it's really just Dunleavy. I don't think he has another super shooter. I'm not sure about Miles. Houston still by one. Pull up from Dunleavy. Gasol almost got that rebound. Watching the Grizz without T-Mac is so weird. This is literally LeBron James. And Dwayne Wade's here without Bosch. This is what this looks like. Le MVP. He's got two dunks at these crucial times. Yeah, this, this, oh, Jason Richardson is out. That's what's missing. Jason Richardson is either, it's probably a hurry. Shout out to Lesson for the subscription. Miles for three. Dotting LeBron's eyes. Houston by two. Said D Will playing Westbrook for each one. Paying Westbrook for each one. <laughs> High key. And what a finish. Mega Mind takes the hit off glass. Rolls around the whole rim. And he's got a chance to put him up one. He's filling in for Richardson right now, who's probably fouled out. <laughs> Said export, <laughs> export Mega Mind. Let him hit a game winner first. He's not wearing generics either, so good on 2K for that. Yeah, it's oh they're subbing in Josh Howard too. Okay, they're going deep into the bench. We rarely ever see Josh Howard minutes. Oh, no illegal screen. Russ pulls a three. It won't go. Peak the rebound. Pulls to Melo. Won't go. Braun the rebound. Could have been an and one. And it looks like Memphis is trying to pull away here. But Westbrook already pulling threes. <laughs> trying to see if his 2010 form is still around. That's a miss by LaFro. That's a green by LaFro. And Houston's going to take a timeout. So I am going to go look down the heat request list and see what people are looking for. We were all in the Cavs. We already did old school Spurs. 76ers. I notice a lot of these team schemes, they look kind of the same when I go down the list on camera at least when i'm laying it when i'm in here they don't look all the same but lebron's got 29 tonight by the way a lot of people saying he robbed darren williams darren williams is the most disrespected legend in our sim darren williams is the one in, in this universe in a couple of years they're going to be saying not even top 10 they're going to forget all about what he did at the uh beginning of the 2010s and 10 years from now on twitter darren williams not even top 10 <laughs> Oh man, they be saying Daniel Williams never won an MVP. So much disrespect. But it was a vote. Yep, he got a majority. He got his majority. And as long as you get a majority, that is all that matters. Dunley V. He's creeping. Westbrook does not have his 2010s form yet. He refuses to accept it. Ahead to Miller. Fouled. And he is fouled out. Jay Sizzle, much appreciated. A veteran move by Miller. Get out! And Westbrook out! is going to have to go sit. Get out! Okay. Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> and so, it's looking like Memphis is going to stop playing with their food here. Yeah, Gil Gilbert Arenas has had two MVPs taken away from him now. 
it was funny in the voting this year. Like, Gilbert Arenas wasn't even close to being considered, and he actually won. People were like, yeah, that's cool. So how about this Darren Williams and LeBron conversation? <laughs> And it's really interesting to see where all the all the poll voters went. And an illegal screen on Gasol, so that's probably it. The low five was already on. That looks like game. Andre Miller's gonna shoot free throws, but has Arenas won it all? Yeah, he won it. He won a championship, yeah, in 07. Yeah, no, yeah. The CCP3 get 25 votes after being the MVP last year. Like they all flipped on him quick. The chat doesn't have an allegiance, that's for sure. God damn it, I missed it. Alright, so Memphis is going to take game one. Good win there, solid win. We see Westbrook is pulling threes left and right in the playoffs. Hey. That is very on brand. Oh man, I almost forgot the NBA actually starts tomorrow. Alright, Memphis takes game one. They're trying to hold the fort right now until... They're trying to hold the fort right now until T Mac gets back. Uh, who won the Hawks and Sixers? The uh, Sixers did, of course they did. Um, so we are gonna go to the yeah. So that's gonna be Magic and Raptors. Okay. So Magic Raptors, <sighs> huh? Okay, so I'm interesting. Magic trying to get a home game here. From Toronto, but doesn't look like they will. Damn. Just to see, I hate the fact that they all had to play. At least one of these teams is for sure going to be in the conference finals. That's the only thing it assures. But can we see playoff Rose, KD, and Curry all at once? That'd be very nice. They got the perfect first round matchup in in Minnesota because said all I do is win, all I do is sell. Yep, let's jump. Three point game. Let go. Ooh, I'm about to die. LeBron was MVP, barely. By 27 votes, LeBron James was MVP. Playoff KD, Rose, and Curry time, exactly. This is their playoff debuts all at once. They they caught themselves trying to finesse the market. Oh, wait, they have the Blazers pick. Wait, so they're in the playoffs and they have the Blazers pick. If, I, if I'm calculating things right, the... If I'm calculating things right, the Timberwolves are in the playoffs. I mean, the Hornets are in the playoffs, and they have the Blazers pick. KD's missing free throws. And so they're going to... They better not drop John Wall. I might actually have to step in then. Hey, yo, shout out to Trey. Three months. Much appreciated, man. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely... Uh, I might have to step in if they draft John Wall and give them someone else. Because, like, fam, y'all can't have all the point guards. And KG just fouled Kevin Durant out. Come on, man. <laughs> grow up. Grow up. Yeah, you. Grow up. Come on, man. He's still the vet. Doesn't have a whole lot of success. But he's the vet. Big Z is getting minutes, by the way. My lo-fi was on. All right, so if the Minnesota Timberwolves were to win this game, they would go up 2-0. The Hornets would be home. Paul Millsap in the post. Is he developing? Let's find out. KG got clamps. Steph Curry open for three. And he puts the Hornets up four. That is the first court. That is the first Steph Curry three of the sim. So, you know. We've got to get that Curry on Iverson in the playoffs. My life is complete. <laughs> Rookie Steph Curry introducing himself. You love to see it. Derrick Rose. Oh, out of bounds. He had his back turned to the ball. Otherwise, they might have had it. Yeah, welcome to the league, Wardell. Absolutely. Ah, head is in the game. KG is going to get a screen from Kratos. Okay, KG ball handling. On picks. Bet. <laughs> They're calling him Seth's brother in this one. Rose. Oh, I thought he should have kept going right there. Paul Millsap. Kevin Garnett still got clamps. He's 33. It don't mean a thing. Chris Kamen, the defense without fouling. Point four KG. Kicks it ahead to Kratos and it's tied. What a look. Yeah! We may be looking at OT in a minute. 
Well, 33 seconds, actually. The Wolves rebrand. I don't like these jerseys nearly as much as the old ones, but... D-Rose, playoff debut 29. <gasps> Shades of 2009. Well, actually, well, it's, a, it's his playoff debut on screen. Of course, this is game two. Curry set screens for Rose. Paul Millsap, what the hell? <laughs> I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. He's still young, bro. Give it time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, KG kind of lit right now. <laughs> I can't lie, KG kind of lit. He he's been trying to make noise for the last two years. That's that's the KD that's the KD face cam without the beard. That's Ke that's the youngest Kevin Durant face cam that exists. That's the one without his facial hair. Rose Millsap is gonna try it again. And Curry, playoff Curry has arrived. Gets it up and over Kevin Garnett. And is it a coincidence that Curry joins the team and they make the playoffs? <gasps> My goodness. Remind me to go back and get that F10. That was a tough shot. I thought it was about to get slapped. So he's got five points in the clutch. Outshining D Rose so far. On screen, anyways. Why would you? Oh, that was a great double team. Curry and Rose prison. Never thought I would find myself saying that. And yo, that is the passing of the torch. That is the passing of the torch. Curry and Rose locking up the old cash cow guard. In the playoffs. Made him throw a lob. Made him ditch it. And 2010 Curry and Rose taking the league from AI. You love to see it. You love to see it. And so it's Curry at the free throw line, shooting 82% on the year. Still got a while to go before he's MV Curry, before he's unanimous MVP. And this one right here could put the game out of reach for all intents and purposes. Man, this team's got a bright future. I feel like I'm watching the Warriors before they exploded, you know? Yo, what's good, Chris? I feel like I'm watching the Warriors before they exploded. You remember when they were in the playoffs that year in 2013 and they, they played the Spurs and they almost beat them? Curry had seven points in the final minutes of this game. Yeah, you're right. I really feel like I'm watching. Yeah, and this is without KD too. I really feel like I'm watching the Warriors in those, those years right before they blow up. And Richard Jefferson seals the deal. Go ahead and let them hit these free throws because 2K Sim likes to be funny. I don't want them to steal this game from the Hornets. And we're out. KD got fouled out. KG fouled him out. 24 and 13. Curry, 37. In his second playoff game. 37 and 9. D Rose with 29. And KD with 23. And this one right here. What a fun. I thought. That was about to get Mill slapped. Maybe a little bit of a glitch there, but I need to have 10. Curry is right now taking the league from Allen Iverson. Well, not Allen Iverson never had the league to begin with, but he was an OG cash cow. So to see Steph Curry come into the league and play against AI is pretty cool. Um, by the way, Steph Curry did have nine three-pointers as well. <laughs> Oh man, David Robinson, Coach David Robinson, the Admiral, has gave him the green light. Oh man, the Admiral said shoot. All right, he said the Hornets got Simsap too. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot Simsap was a thing. You're right. All right, so that series is tied. Like I said, if anybody is gonna lose a first round to a young team, it's definitely the Wolves. Um, the Jazz got game one over there. Go back to arenas. Bobcats take the second game. They do have a much better team. Nets Pacers. I don't think the Nets are going to start succeeding now. <laughs> Out of all the years they've had easy first round matchups, I don't think they're about to turn their lives around at this moment. Rockets Grizz definitely has some great potential.
And the Rockets are going to tie it. No T-Mac, big problem. Westbrook, 32 and 13. Um, Sixers, Hawks, nah, I still ain't watching that. All right, we are in Orlando. The Raptors, looks like Tim Duncan has old Shaq's number. And the Magic look like they're going to finesse a win here. Good dub at home. Kobe putting in 41. Trying to keep this Magic team afloat because Shaq is out here having single digit playoff games now. Yeah, he's about to retire, Chief. He's 38. I think this might be Shaq's last run. <laughs> oh, yeah. How's D Will doing, by the way? I mean, it doesn't matter. They're playing the Nets, but. Okay, triple double for D Will, by the way. He he's uh he has a bone to pick with y'all. He had 33 and 9. JR Swish with 40. And Barbosa filled in very nicely at shooting guard. So that JR Smith could play small forward. They're low-key doing really, really well without Hito Turkoglu. Um Timberwolves, Hornets. Yeah, Wolves got that one. Break the tie. Jazz look like they might end that. Up, oh, Phoenix won. Cool. Is Arenas even going to get a game? Looks like a little Captain Planet spell didn't work. 3 0. <laughs> the days. <laughs> Arenas is averaging 46 in the first round, but the days of him being able to. Oh, Arenas and Kyle Lowry Dawkins, the whole bet. Yeah, the days of us, 47 in game one, 40 in game two, 51 in game three. Man, he shouldn't have signed up for this. He should not have signed up for that. The days of him being able to carry that roster through, uh, through the East are done. Kyle Lowry, playoff Kyle Lowry has arrived in full. Um, I'm going to skip it. Uh, nah, I'd like to see Yao and Dirk if we can. The Nets are at home. And that might make a difference. Yeah, we're going to jump. Two minutes. Let's go. Ooh, I'm about to die. <laughs> yeah, Kyle Lowry's progressing kind of quick. Because it did take him. It was a while before anybody actually cared about Kyle Lowry. All right. So it's the Pacers now. Indiana by one. By one. Ooh, second round. I was about to say stretch two, but he's a five. That don't make any sense. Heck, no good. Rebound boozer. What's with 2K advancing the ball today? I see y'all. Still taking mid-range shots when they don't really need to. Speedy Claxton. Beating everybody in transition. New Jersey by one. Yeah, Boozer is uh Boozer has been a crazy that was a crazy trade for Indiana. Larry Bird got in his bag with that one. Especially when you look what they got him for. Oh, didn't even need to set his feet. Y'all have angered him. I think we jumped into a hood classic. Yao. Is that gonna be a block? It's a green. Yes, we did. This is a certified hood classic. This is like that game we jumped into earlier with the Raptors. I think it was Raptors Mavs. Nobody would miss. Boozer sets a screen. Darren Williams going for the head. Y'all took that man's award. He had a fit. Indiana by two. Has anyone missed yet? Well, yeah, they have in transition. Yao finally pulling out post spin moves, but he's doing it on the wrong guy. And this Indiana team is running like deer. Leandro Barbosa. He scores. And why do they look better without Hito Turkoglu? They they really do. He left, who was probably their their best player at a point. They still won 60 games. That's a foul. And one. Yeah, 190 gang. <laughs> yeah, shout out if you know 190 gang. Ooh. Aaron Williams has a bone to pick, bro. He's already fond of MVP. It's not, he doesn't have to be hungry by default right now, you know. Oh, that, that was Barbosa's fault. That was Barbosa. He threw it to a blur. D Will threw it to a blur. It's not his fault. He couldn't see over there. <laughs> New Jersey down one. Yeah, I was screened. Didn't need to throw that pass. Could have kept cutting. Oh. Yao waited seven or eight years to get in his post bag, I see. 
it's pretty interesting that Yao is actually going to be playing in the 2010s as well. Because remember in the 2010 sim, when we did when we started the 2010 sim off of uh, Thunder Shack's roster, guys that were supposed to be old and hurt were old and hurt. And so if you had Yao Ming, like he was already at the end of his career when we started that, but it looks like he's probably going to get a good three or four years into the 2010s. Maybe he'll actually produce at some point. I don't know, though. This Nets team has stayed almost exactly the same. Then yeah, no, they, they won 64 games, which I think is an improvement on last year, and that's an Elmo pass. That was an Elmo pass. Threw it right to the opposition. And now Yao is in the post. 2010 Yao wants to get in his bag. Ah, in and out. Barbosa. Boozer. Dirk with the defense. And the second round pick can't finish. New Jersey has three seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. They're getting a lot of good switches with Yao Ming. Not that time. They're getting a lot of good looks in the paint with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Put him in the basket. My goodness. Oh! Bigger, faster, stronger than you. <gasps> that is literal Stacy King moments, bro. He actually just put this. He actually put Sir Sam in the basket. Oh, too big, too strong, too fast, too good. Bro, we just watched him put Samuel in the basket. It took him seven years and he's finally using his size. He is fed up. That is Cash Yao. That man is fed up. He is pulling out post moves and all. <laughs> He actually made me pull out Stacy King. I had to pull out Stacy King for that one, man. And so New Jersey's only up by three, though, so it's not it. <laughs> oh man. Because uh, Derrick Rose, that's kind of what Derrick Rose layups would look like whenever Stacy King would pull that out. It because Derrick Rose like looked like he was about to dunk on somebody, but then he laid it up. It looked just like that. All right, well, the Pacers have one more chance here. I wouldn't go to anybody else but D-Will, but that's just me. They're going to go to Boozer with five seconds. Smith is going to pull it out. That's a two-pointer, my guy. There's Leandro Barbosa. That's contested. Ooh, it would have tied. It says Samuel. <laughs> All right, so the Nets finesse a win. I'm crying inside. Stern 2K is crying inside at the fact that they had the nerve to put all the best teams against each other in the first round because this could have been really cool i mean at least they all get to play each other i guess that doesn't matter but the fact that they're all going to take each other out gilbert arenas this would have been the perfect for time for him to finesse a second ring and reach uh penny hardaway status but I guess he didn't have those type of aspirations this series is tied the rockets lost that lead got it back and we have another jump just like that hood classics everywhere <laughs> breezy said why the d will fans are so quiet <laughs> they're about to clap back and say they're waiting for the finals <laughs> this is light work for them they're sitting back filing their nails right now waiting for the finals they've been to the finals two years straight mellow wide open from the mid and see that's that shit we don't do westbrook it's Paul Gasol, and yes he is it's so hard to imagine the Rockets could have had like Blake Griffin or somebody if they hadn't have sold their pick and Westbrook down the lane. No block from Melo there, but no foul as well, so that's good. Westbrook is guarding LeBron James. That is a tough task in your playoff debut. He goes peak inside, won't go. Spencer Hall is adding peak to his fireplace. It was Dwight Howard last time. Last sim. I was about to say, Miles should have cut right there. Had to rebound his own miss. LeBron didn't want to foul. Houston by four. Is Houston about to take a 2-1 lead here? That would be very interesting. The loss of T-Mac is glaring. Because obviously they're not a super team without him. Peak. Greens it. Low key, they still have, he's been their best performer this whole, this whole season, though. Every time we jump into a Grizzlies game, it's Pikovic. Westbrook hasn't made a three yet, but there's Gasol. Cleaning it up. It's first round. So Pacers went 64 and 18 last year, too. Oh, damn. So they had an identical record without Hidu. 
That's cool. That's cool for narratives. Bargs misses. No rebound. Houston can extend the lead, and they will. I think I'm going to cue the lo-fi. Grizz looking a little bit funny in the light. Is it the year of D-Will and CP3? Because if the Grizz go out, I'm going to rightfully assume it's probably going to be the Mavs. LeBron pulls up. P can't get the rebound. Spencer Hawes. T-Mac has a dislocated patella with very little injury sliders. So that means it was just faded. Oh, look at, look at the clamps. Look at the clamps. By the defensive player of the year. I got to play it just for that. For that possession. What a pass to Borgs. Just like that, it's a four-point game. Braun was all over him. You don't need the foul right now. Why would you do that? There's 35 seconds left. Let them miss and then hit a three. Yeah, see, I hate that glitch. LeBron picking up Westbrook full court. They don't have nobody like this in college. There's 16 seconds. He beats him. Or he beat the clock. Oh, use the foul to give. Bet, bet, bet. It's late. I just don't want them to foul him out because that was his fourth. And Borgs with the block. A rare Andrea Bognani block. Driving a hard bargain down low. They have three seconds. This is a very crucial stop. The, although the Grizzlies have probably lost this game regardless. It would take a sell from the Rockets to win this. Gunley V, that's a win. Yeah, they won. Great defense, Memphis. All right, we out of here. So the Rockets have just won. Game three. And this eighth seed rocket team is looking nice. The Grizzlies don't look as good without T-Mac. They really don't. Without having that third option, without having that decoy, they really don't look anywhere near as solid. Twenty-seven from Westbrook. He is a playoff performer. And remember, the Grizzlies have been there two times straight. So, even making the finals a third time, yeah, they're done. All right, cool. We out of here. Lo-fi is hidden. Twenty-eight for. Oh, damn! How do you only get three rebounds? I mean, y'all won, so it don't matter. But <sighs> Rockets by four. How long is T-Mac out? He was out one to two months at the like beginning of April, so they would have to like legit make a conference finals for him to come back.